Hi, this is Yvonne Prant, and this is a very short little video on how to use Canvas Remove Background Tool, plus a quick demonstration on how to make a ministry flyer. Now, here's what prompted this. Here's the situation. Early one Sunday morning, a couple of weeks ago, my husband asked me to do a flyer or a handout for a service that he's preaching at a rest home early in that afternoon. Now, I'm used to this. Um, after many, many years of marriage and ministry, he sometimes seems to get some of his greatest ideas early Sunday morning and that means I have maybe an hour usually less to put something together before we leave for church. Now I'm used to that and so I thought not to worry. Now I'd been wanting to try something in Canva and I'll get to that in just a minute. If you're not familiar with it I plan on doing an updated overview of it but I would wanted to try something using Canva and so I'll show you in just a minute exactly what I did. First I go to Microsoft Publisher which is my go-to program for just about anything I think of and I thought well you know let me just do something in Publisher and so here's what I did I'll just go through this very quickly because I actually ended up not doing this I went into Publisher and I thought oh what he wanted to do is he had a specific verse in mind that he wanted to use he wanted to use Psalm 103 1 through 5 so I go to the Bible Gateway which is my favorite way to copy a verse. Here I am at the BibleGateway.com and as you can see you can just put in a reference and then the Bible passage comes up and it's great because if you want it in a different version you just click on the little thing here and it'll bring it up in another version and things like that but uh, I decided that I wanted to use the Today's Living Bible and so I just highlight that, copy and then go over to Publisher and paste it in. And so here I have my uh, verse and I know I have to do a little rearranging of it and decide on the font and all that kind of thing. But then I thought, no, first off, I need to find an illustration. So what I did on that is I went over into Google and I asked Google to show me images of eagles. Now, let me just show you, if, I'm sure you all want to stay legal and above board and do what you're supposed to do. But uh, you, what you always want to do if you're just doing a general search on Google is go to Tools and then Usage Rights, and then Labeled for Reuse. And there's a lot of images of eagles, which is really nice because it's there's just a lot of images of eagles. So I go down through it. Here's a great picture of an eagle, and um, it's on Pixabay, so I know it's free. I know it's legally okay. So I'm going to take that image. I'm going to copy it, and then I will paste it on page with my with my verse. Now I realize after I've done that that I have a problem. This is going to be really ugly. What do I do with just this this bird and then it's got this big blue background and then how do I make the text fit and you know just what do I do and then I remembered that Canva has a remove background tool. I'd forgotten all about this and so I thought well let me quickly try to see if I could put the whole thing together in Canva. So I go over to Canva. Now here we are at canva.com. If you're not familiar with Canva, it is just an extraordinary program. Churches can get it for free. I do plan to do an updated overview of it, but right now I just want to show you how you can use it very quickly and very easily. I'm going to go, uh, what I do just on the sizes here, I really don't care what it is because I'm going to put in my own stuff, but I just am looking for the size. My husband wanted a full 8.5 by 11, so I I go into 8.5 by 11 flyer and I have this blank page. Now I first want to add some text and I'm just going to pick a typeface that I think I'd like, probably just something like that. Here you'll notice this is actually two pieces of text and I'll show you why I'm doing that in just a minute. But all you have to do is I'm just going to say move this over here. Now I'm going to go back into Publisher and I'm going to, let me just change this around just a little bit. I'm just going to get rid of the numbers. And then I'm going to copy this, go back into Canva, and select all, and paste. Now, obviously it is huge, and so we are going to select all, and 
make it just a whole lot smaller, okay? I probably am going to increase that in size in a little bit, but let me just, the reason I kept this down here is I'm going to actually put my passage here. Now before I decide exactly what to do with the text, I want to bring in my eagle. I've already uploaded the eagle, so let me just put that in there. Now, here again, same problem. Got this ugly background, but let me show you how neat this is. We've selected the image here, and all you have to do, and for those of you that have tried to remove backgrounds in the past, either by doing this thing all around something in Photoshop or some of the different ones, or you could do it a little bit in PowerPoint, but it was really ugly because it kind of left stuff out. And you know, getting rid of backgrounds is a major pain in the neck, but wait till you see this. Just go up to the effects and see where it says remove background and you just wait a couple of minutes or seconds and ta-da! <laughs> you have no background. Isn't that just the neatest thing? And you can resize your image or whatever. I just thought this was really neat. Okay, now I obviously want to make this a little bit larger and make the text stand out, but what's really neat too about the new Canva is you don't have to be putting in sizes or whatever. You can just increase the sizes and the spacing just by moving the box around. Now what I'm going to do is I like I tend to like things like this centered. Crease it there. Select all and center it. You just did that up at the top there. This part just a tad smaller and I'm going to send the other thing on spacing. I think I'm going to make the line height just a little bit more, just air it out a little bit. Let's look at the line breaks. I will bless the holy name of the Lord. Let's put another one here. And I think we've got it. And so as you can see right there, now we have a wonderful flyer. And it's so much quicker and easier than what I would, would be able to do in Publisher. I cannot recommend Canva enough. I literally did this. Then to print it, they have a printing service. Of course, they want you to buy that, but I don't do that. And what I did is just downloaded it as a PDF, printed it out for my husband. He took it to the rest home and all was good. I hope you enjoy this brief little how-to with Canva. The remove background image to me is just worth so much on doing designs. I'm going to be doing a lot more little short things with Canva because it is a a fantastic program and it is free to churches so um, you know you, you just can't beat that for now this is Yvonne Pran with Effective Church Communication please go to www.effectivechurchcom.com for lots more on how to create effective communications for your church that will fully fulfill the Great Commission